You can see that nude painting I did from college in the background. I really don't want you to see that. I really don't want you to see the bathroom either. Like that's no fun for anybody. Okay, this works, this works. Hey everybody, CR Media Gal here, also known as Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. So I had to semi-scrap part of this video that I had filmed a couple days prior. This video was initially going to be both a spring purging of my closet, but I was also going to do even more tweaking and reorganizing of my closet. If you're a subscriber, you know I tend to do a closet purge every season. And I've been for the past like year and a half or so reorganizing my closet quite a bit to just help improve things and help mainly like declutter my mind. I've been working on this process for quite a while. Everything that I was trying organization wise was not working. So I decided to scrap that part of this video. And instead, I thought I would take the time to run through the chunk of the stuff that I am getting rid of. When I tell you this is my biggest closet purge yet. I mean it. I actually haven't taken the time to count how much stuff I'm getting rid of, but it's a lot. There's gotta probably be at least 50 items. I would imagine. So if you're interested in any of the items that you see here, majority of it will be going on my Poshmark. My Poshmark, by the way, is always listed down in the description box for you. I still have to go through everything one more time just to see if there's any last bits that maybe I want to either try and just donate because they're just not in decent enough shape or maybe I can consign some of it and it might not even be worth going on my Poshmark. So again, if you see anything you like, by all means, comment down below and we can probably negotiate something. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe below. I do a lot of this kind of content on my channel, but I also do a lot of plus size fashion content as well. So I would love for you to stick around. And if you like classic purges, be sure to give this one a thumbs up because it's a big one. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. I already took two bags of donations to Goodwill today. So we're off to a good start. Now, part of the reason that this purge ended up being as massive as it is, is because I did take the time to go through the chest drawers that I have. It's separate from my closet and I just don't utilize it enough. So stuff ends up just sitting in there and not getting worn. So I took the time to really go through stuff and I got rid of probably 75% of what was in those drawers. So a decent amount of the stuff I'm getting rid of is that. I still got rid of plenty of things in my closet as well. So let me take you back to a couple days ago to show you the massive piles of stuff that I'm getting rid of. And then I will come back to you and we'll go through some of the items that are gonna go onto my Poshmark.
So here is the ginormous piles. I'm sure if you can see all that. I have stuff that I'm getting rid of. This pile here, these multiple piles back here are all for my Poshmark. And one pair of shoes. And then this big pile here is all gonna be donations. Really kind of flabbergasted that I'm getting rid of this much stuff. I really didn't anticipate that. I told you this is the biggest purge. I, I thought the fall and winter one was massive, but I feel like that didn't even scratch the surface of this one. I did kind of talk through some of the things that I was getting rid of in that earlier footage, but I thought it would actually be more fun to try some of this stuff on for you and be reminiscent a little bit, explain why I'm getting rid of it. Hopefully I won't have any second thoughts. <laughs> That's my only worry. There's a couple items in here that it was, it was painful to get rid of them, but like, I know I gotta do it. Yeah, let's jump right in. By the way, if you're new around here, any of the tubing that you're gonna be seeing throughout this video is my insulin pump. I'm a type one diabetic. Also, if you're curious, this bra was in my February favorites. So go and watch that if you're interested to know more about it. Barely anybody saw that video, so please go give it a watch. I'm sure for the majority of this, I'm not wearing the correct bra or maybe even the correct colored underwear, but we're just gonna make do because that's what we do on this channel. I work two jobs, so I have to film when I can. All right, the first one is one that I am very pained to be getting rid of. If you're an oldie but goodie, you might recognize this. I actually hauled this last year, I think in my spring collective haul. It's this really fun, like traditional tattooish art uh, bodysuit from Shein. The quality of it is so nice. This looks like it wouldn't be all that soft, but it is, despite the fact that it's sheer. It's really nice quality. But the reason I'm getting rid of it is because I took some Instagram photos in it and I've never worn it since. So I technically haven't even worn this out of the house. And I, I'd like to give myself more time to wear this, but I mean, it's been a year and I have not reached for it. So I just, I, I try to be ruthless when I do these closet purges because I don't want to hang on to stuff that is just going to sit in my closet and not get used. Um, I'm sure somebody else will have a lot more fun with this. I hate to get rid of it too because this is like one of the only like edgier, for lack of a better word, uh, tops that I own. Truthfully, I have no place to wear this. <laughs> not that you have to have a reason to wear anything, like wear what you want, but I just day to day, like this is not something I'm gonna reach for, so I'm sad to get rid of it. But um, yeah, it's gonna go to a new home. It's fun though. This makes me want to get completely covered in tattoos. I'm hopefully gonna be booked in for some more tattoos soon, by the way, I'm so excited. Oh, this sweater, <laughs> gosh. I was like crazy about this sweater on Express's website when it showed up. And I waited a solid two months because it kept going in and out of stock. And I finally, I think it went on sale. I finally bought it and yet I've only worn it maybe two or three times. The past, I'd say year, year and a half that I've had it, I know this and yet I bought this anyway, which makes me so angry. <laughs> but I have very broad shoulders. So, you know, frilly, Stuff like this that like emphasizes that part of my body just does not make me feel good. And as a result, I feel like I just look bodybuilder on top. Plus I think because it's like more of a boxy fit, it just doesn't fit my body all that well. So as much as I hate to get rid of this, cause this is like perfect for springtime. It's nice and like super lightweight and kind of see-through. I, I don't reach for it because of, because of this which is such, a, it's such a pretty detail. I just don't like it on me personally. I certainly know better now, but like, I hate that I waste my money on stuff like this and that I don't wear it. So yeah, this beautiful sweater from Express is gonna go on my Poshmark. All right, I'm obviously not wearing the right bra for this, but this really sweet top is from Luca and Gray. It's got this kind of like boho desert and sun landscape on it. It's super cute. I primarily bought it for obviously for spring and summer. Not that you couldn't layer it and wear it other times of the year, but I didn't reach for it over the spring and summer in the past year that I've had it because I think this might be acrylic. And for me anyway, my skin is like really uber sensitive. So this is 
to me is so uncomfortable to wear in the summer. Somebody else won't be bothered by it, but for me, it's just, just not a good situation. I think I might've worn this for one of my videos actually. But yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna get rid of it because it's not getting worn and I don't want it to sit in my closet because I know me and I know going into spring and summer here, I'm not gonna reach for this because of the fabric, but it's a shame. Really, I should have returned it, but I thought, oh no, no, I'll make that work. I need to just be better about returning things if I even have a slight doubt in my mind about how much I'm gonna wear it. I need to start going with my gut. Oh man, I'm actually getting rid of two pairs of jeans this time. I think I'm finally ready to part with these cream colored jeans only because they're actually a little bit loose, happy to say. I'm starting to get that like saggy butt situation, which it's not cute. I think these were only like $20 from Target. And I love the color. They're really, really pretty. I hate to get rid of these because they're the only like light, light denim I own. So I am gonna have to replace them. I've been really hesitant to get rid of these for that reason, but I think I just need to suck it up and get rid of them because the last couple months I have not reached for them because of that whole saggy butt situation. They don't make me feel cute anymore and they're still in great shape. They're just, they don't sit right on my body anymore. So yeah, these can go. Oh, I cannot believe I'm gonna get rid of these. So this is a beautiful, super, super soft bubble cardigan from Mod Cloth. I actually bought this off of Poshmark easily two years ago now. I've probably worn it twice. I, I actually thought this was an XL. It's a large, so it's very oversized, more oversized than I thought when I bought it. It just looks frumpy on me. I don't know though, now that I'm looking in the camera, now I kind of like it again. <laughs> but at the same time, like I, I haven't reached for it because again, up here on my shoulders, I feel like there especially is where a lot of the emphasis is and I'm like drawing more attention to my broad shoulders. Why would I want to do that? So uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I wish I would have kept the tags on it because it's practically brand new. It's so cute. I don't know, I'm on the fence about it. The more I look at it, I'm like, oh no, you should hang on to that. But like, why? I haven't reached for it. <laughs> but this one makes me sad. Uh, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm getting rid of my mod cloth ghost sweater. Cue the gasps and shock. The reason I'm getting rid of this one is because I'm replacing it. I really wanted the OG rust colored one from Mod Cloth. That came out at least probably three or four years ago now. Every influencer on the planet was wearing it and they never came back with that color. I don't know why. And I found one in my size on Poshmark recently. I have no reason to keep two. So I am gonna part with my green Mod Cloth ghost sweater. Gotten its use. I've definitely been wearing it every October and even into November because it's so freaking cute. It's perfect for the spooky season. So this will definitely go on my Poshmark and somebody else can feel free to rock it. You can rock the green one. I'll rock the rust colored one. This is another one that angers me as much as it pains me. If you're an old subscriber, you might recognize it. I hauled both this and the pants in my Francesca's plus size haul from solid two years ago now. And guess what? These have sat in my closet ever since and not been worn. The pants even still have the tags on. I did take the tag off of the B. I think the hoodie I might have worn out once or twice. This is so cute. So lightweight and soft, perfect for spring. I think as I have like so many other like crew sweaters and hoodie options, I just don't reach for these. I think part of the reason I haven't reached for the pants anyway is I get way too nervous to wear anything light. I don't need that trauma in my life. So yeah, I actually thought that maybe I might wear these more on their own than together, but even apart from one another, I don't, I don't wear them, which is so bizarre because I was obsessed with these on Francesca's website. I love this ombre color scheme. It's such a shame. These are so pretty. Fuzzy fleecing on the inside. It's so cozy. No, I'm getting rid of them. I'm getting rid of them. They're going, they're going. Oh, another loungewear set. This one is from Eloquie. I believe I hauled at least the pants. 
thinking of Black Friday haul. Not last year anyway. Might have been the year before or even the year before that. Wasn't a cheap set. I only had gotten the pants at the time, but the top was out of stock for the longest time. And when it finally came back in stock, I bought it. This is my first purchase from Eloquity. I was really impressed by them. It's nice and cozy, very, very soft. But past like one or two fall and winter seasons, because I can't remember when I bought this. I really haven't reached for it. I have a bunch of other like cute pajama and loungewear sets that I like to wear these days. So I get overheated really easily and I just get too hot in this. If I'm gonna wear it on a really cold day, I still can only wear it for a short period of time. It, I just get too toasty and stuff like this. So there's no reason to keep it. I hate to get rid of stuff like this that I know is like more expensive. I just, I try now to pick higher quality items that will potentially last me longer. That's the main component, not just cause it's more expensive, but like if, if it's just gonna sit in my closet, like there's no, there's no point. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of these. Just in the past like three minutes that I've been wearing this, I'm, get, I'm getting way too hot. <laughs> they need to go. As well do the full monochrome look. These are the second jeans that I'm gonna get rid of. And if you've been on this channel for a bit, you might recognize them. I showed these in my trying on all my jeans video. I had mentioned in that video that over the winter time of 2022 and 2023, if I didn't wear these, I would part with them. They can go. These are from Torrid. They're nice and stretchy and like they don't even like necessarily feel like denim. I don't think they're true denim, but they're this gorgeous like forest green color. I'm hiking them up as much as I possibly can, but these are definitely a mid to low rise. And I only wear high-waisted jeans these days. I'm, I'm not interested in anything below my belly button. I also have, to be fair, another torrid jegging that I bought secondhand that are also in this kind of like forest green color. And they're more of a high-waisted pair. So of the two, I can get rid of one. So I am gonna part with these. They're very cute though. And I think the last highlight that I'm gonna show you here is probably the one that pains me the most. I actually didn't even wanna try it on because I figured if I tried it on, I would re-fall in love with it and not be able to part with it. And it's this gorgeous floral ruffly number from Francesca's. I hauled this in that try on as well and was like blown away by this dress. And I still am. It's just stunning. It's got these beautiful buttons in the front. Elasticity at the wrist. I love the ruffling. My only contention with this dress, I just feel like it's a smidge too short. I'm just around 5'4". Obviously, it goes past my fingertips. From the back, you know, it obviously dips further in the back. So like, I'm very comfortable with that. It's just from the front. I don't reach for mini skirts or mini dresses anymore. I prefer things at midi length on me now. That's just where I'm headed in life. I don't know, maybe that's part of getting old, who knows. Ugh, love this dress, it's so pretty. I don't wear it enough though. <sighs> this was what I was afraid of. I was afraid that I was gonna keep this. Oh, I'm so torn on this one. Comment down below and let me know. Keep, put on Poshmark. Oh, this one I'm having a tough time with. Help me out in the comments. Let me know what you think. So that was my mini little try on part of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I figured I would close out the video in this dress because it will probably be the last time I wear it. But anyway, let me know if you've been doing some spring decluttering of your own. This was definitely my biggest one yet. And honestly, it feels good. My closet still feels like it's overflowing and I have more things on the way. So be sure to subscribe before you leave because you're not gonna wanna miss any upcoming videos that I have planned. I'm still a work in progress. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye. I don't want to end the video because it means I have to get out of this dress and I don't want to. We, <clears throat> oh, I gotta get rid of this stuff. This can't be here. Excuse me. If you're not, no, the little, to see, <coughs> it's got these beautiful pockets. Pockets. I've got a tickle in my throat. I'm literally having like a five year old temper tantrum in my head because I don't want to get rid of this dress. All right, I'm, I'm done thinking about it. I'm done thinking about it.